Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to review The Wrath and the Dawn by René Atkie. I'm terrible with pronunciations of last names. I'm so sorry. Anyway, if you didn't know, like this is a new release, like very, very new. I believe it was published in May or something. For me, the moment where I it sparked my in interest was when I heard that it was a retelling of Thousand and One Nights. I grew up listening to the stories of A Thousand and One Nights, like adapted to children and adapted to like different stages in my life. I read A Thousand and One Nights. The Wrath and the Dawn in particular, it, it's about this girl, Shahrazad Shasi, who volunteers to be the wife of the Caliph of Khorasan. He, and he is known for getting married with a young girl who he chooses from the town, like random girls, and then killing them in the morning of their marriage. She decides to volunteer to actually avenge her best friend who got murdered by him. He has like a little bit of bad reputation, okay? And everything changes when she has a plan to stay alive for more than one night. And it actually works. She stays alive for the first night. That should interest you. In A Thousand and One Nights, and in this one too, she uses stories to keep the Caliph interested in keeping her alive. This was a super interesting twist on the entire thing. You don't really know why this is happening, why the Caliph is killing these girls and they just stay for a night. Like, it doesn't make any sense except for him being mad and him being a monster, you know? I love in these books where I took A Thousand and One Nights, which has been told and retold and retold a thousand, a thousand and one times. Um, and she told it in a, in a way that I never would have imagined. The intrigue was something that was always there and it keeps you wanting to know what's happening. And it's not only that, but it was also brilliantly written. Like everything, like the details. A thing that I love about my imagination in particular, because I don't know about people's imagination because I can't get into an, another person's mind, but my imagination is very scenographic, you know, like I can imagine places more than people, you know. But in this in this world, it was all very Arabic, so obviously, and the descriptions were so good that I imagined the palace, the food, even the rooms, the pillows, everything was so thought out. I didn't even have to think, it was just there, you know, it was brilliantly written. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this book was the interactions between the characters because there are a lot of characters. I'm trying to do this as spoiler free as I can, but she has a handmaiden and she is just like this super interesting character that I can't wait but to know more about her in the next book but they develop like, this relationship which was really interesting to read about and they have really good dialogue and she also has really good dialogue with with Khalid, with Khalid the Caliph that was just beautiful. There were times where the, the, the conversation just flowed and, and I just couldn't stop reading. So that was the thing about this book. Like I, I sat down and I couldn't stop reading. Also, there there is this magic system in this world where there is some magic, but there is this old magic that some people can do, but not, not a lot of people can do. I'm just really interested because this, this is going to be a duology. So I'm just really interested on how this is going to how this is going to portray in the next book. FYA, there's a little bit of a love triangle, but it's not really a love triangle. I thought it was really well done. Like the personalities match how the story was going. That's something that I really liked. Jassy's personality was just so captivating. She was so strong and fiery and I really really liked her. She was super smart. She knew what to say. Her thought process was just 
beautiful. Her plans worked, didn't work. She was always thinking of something. She, she didn't want to stay there, to sit there and see, you know, the world hand her things or she wants to fight her battles the way she can you know and I appreciate women like that and girls like that and Kali was such a good I don't want to say too much but Kali was such a good character too he was super interesting you don't really know him until he lets you in you don't really know what his intentions are and you don't really know if he is really good or bad or or what is happening or if he is going crazy. His personality was so complex. The way he treated Shaz, and you believe that he had, so I'm sorry that I'm bringing this so much but Shadermi is becoming a TV show so I'm going to bring Shadermi a lot and I believe that she, he, they had a relationship a lot like Warner and Juliet. Warner and, and Khalid just give the place to the girls to you know be strong and be <laughs> themselves they never doubt them and they never want to defend them they know that they can handle their battles you know the war building the the rules the culture the characters everything was well put into place the the only thing that I didn't like was I think that the magic system wasn't explained too much and wasn't exploded too much but I believe that this, we're going to see that in the second book much much more I, and you know maybe we could see more of the character development on the secondary characters I've heard people saying that this novel is very romance driven you know like what holds this novel together is the romance and you know I can see that I, I love romance there is a lot of action in this novel but it is a romance novel and it was a super unique novel it was breathtaking and you know like I said I couldn't I couldn't stop reading so if you haven't yet you should read it and if you did Please share your thoughts, tell me what you think and let's talk in the comments or something or somewhere because I really need to talk about this and I don't think enough people read it for me to, you know, go spread my thoughts around. So that was everything for today. Hope it wasn't that long. Hope you liked it if you did subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!